What's up? It's AppleCritics from AppleCritics.com and today I have a very special video for you. Uh, so in this video I'm going to be unboxing the iPhone 11 Pro Max in space gray and it's 256 gigabytes. So I'm really excited. I reserved it last week, uh, actually last Friday, uh, and I reserved it for today. And then I went to the Apple store uh, and I picked it up. It was a pretty simple process. It only took about uh, 20 minutes to wait in line. And then uh, I got the phone in my hand. So I'm super excited for this uh, edition of the iPhone. Every year it just keeps getting better and better and the main feature of this iPhone 11 Pro would have to be the cameras. Uh, so I got the iPhone 11 Pro Max in this nice little bag. Uh, so it just says Apple on the front uh, and it's super official. Uh, so we have the iPhone 11 Pro Max right here. Uh, so here you have it and it has a really nice box this year, I must say. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into this unboxing video. So this is the iPhone 11 Pro Max. You can see the picture of the phone and the overall design looks really, really good. And then you can see at the back, it's gonna be matte. Now I do like how stealthy this box looks because it's all black. Uh, and you can just see that it says iPhone right at the side there. And then on the other side, it does say iPhone as well. So you can see uh, that it has a really nice design. Then we have the Apple logo there, then the Apple logo right at the top. Uh, so what we can do is actually take a look at the back now. So on the back, you can see that it says 256 gigabytes. We have the iPhone 11 Pro Max and the ear pods and everything that comes in the box. And then right at the bottom, we have the serial number and then the IMEI and other important information just like that. Now I also did get the OtterBox Lumen case. I thought if I'm buying an expensive phone, I might as well protect it. So uh, it's a clear case that has like a bumper at the side and it's like a navy blue. It's available at the Apple store, so that's where I got it from. Uh, and it's just designed for the iPhone and protected by OtterBox. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy. Uh, so what we can do is just pull the tab right at the bottom. And now we can just keep pulling it. And it came off pretty easy. So now what we can do is go ahead and lift up the box. And there it is, the iPhone 11 Pro. Now the cameras look incredible in person. Uh, it's very vivid and it looks really cool uh, to say the least. I know it's a very polarizing design, but I personally think this is the best design iPhone in a long time. Now, compared to other iPhone iterations, this box actually has the iPhone laying flat and face down instead of showing the face of the phone. Uh, so it's on the back instead of the front. Uh, so you go ahead and pull up the tab and now it just feels really good in the hands. This is the max version of it and it feels like a much smaller device now. Uh, so that's really interesting. They made the device a lot thinner and it's easy to hold in one hand. I could easily access whatever part of the screen now. Uh, so I really do like the design uh, and how uh, it feels in the hand overall. So those are my first impressions. Now we can put the phone off to the side for now. And then you're going to see that we do have design by Apple in California right here. So you could just pull up the tab and now we can see that we do have some uh, information. Uh, so you could see it's saying bonjour. And now what we can do is actually look for those Apple stickers, uh, which I really wish were in space gray or midnight green, or they changed depending on what color you got the iPhone in. Just a little uh, nitpicking that I wish it actually had. And now if we keep looking, we're going to see that we now have a 15 watt fast charger uh, in the box. Now, uh, it's much better than the smaller brick that they used to give. So it's going to be a little bit faster than last year's iPhone in terms of charging. Uh, so that's definitely really good. Now, you're also going to notice that this is a uh, USB-C uh, charger. So it's just lightning to USB-C. And that's just the main difference compared to the uh, other uh, smaller bricks. So it's basically the same as the iPad one that you normally get. So we can just go ahead and get it to focus in right there. Uh, so you can see that it's USB-C now. So we do have the ear pods, not the AirPods, just the ear pods. So just the standard wired ones that have the lightning connectivity. And then we have the lightning to USB-C cable that I just was talking about. So you can see the lightning, then the USB-C right here. Uh, so that's everything that's in the box. 
So now we can take a closer look at the iPhone 11 Pro Max's design. So those cameras are definitely spectacular. So you can take a closer look and see at how cool the cameras look. Uh, and I just really love this design. Then you can see the matte back. Uh, so it's not going to be like a fingerprint magnet like the previous generations. Uh, but it's definitely recommended that you get a case, of course. Uh, so it looks really good overall. So it looks very similar to last year's model aside from the cameras and the matte back. So now we can pull off the shrink wrap and you'll hear a satisfying sound. And that is all the shrink wrap we have for the iPhone, not on the back. Uh, so now what we can do is just go ahead and boot up the iPhone. So there is the Apple logo. And while I was booting up the iPhone, uh, the buttons feel a lot better uh, this generation. So uh, the volume and the power buttons feel a lot better. And the stainless steel at the side just feels really good as well. So it's a very premium phone that you're getting. Uh, so here we have the iPhone now. Uh, so you can go ahead and get started with it. So here we have the iPhone 11 Pro Max's home screen. So it looks like we've already seen it before with the XS Max uh, and the iPhone X. So in the meantime, what we can do is just compare uh, the iPhone 11 Pro Max's design to the iPhone XS Max. Now taking a look at the back, they do look very similar other than the camera. Now I do like it's matte on the iPhone 11 Pro Max now compared to a glossy uh, fingerprint magnet. Uh, and overall, it just looks really, really good with the new cameras, I must say. Now you can flip it to the front and they basically look identical without the home button. Now, Apple is supposedly saying that it's the toughest glass on an iPhone, so that is yet to be tested. And it's also IP68 waterproof and dustproof certified, so that's definitely good. So Face ID is also a lot faster. Uh, that's definitely what I realized uh, since Apple did update it. So if we try it, you can see how quick it is. And you can see it recognized me just like that. Uh, so that's a nice new feature. Now we can finally take a look at what everybody's been waiting for, the camera. Uh, so you can go into it, and now it's giving you this information so you can capture it outside the frame, and there's a new shutter button as well, so you can hit continue. So let's say, for example, we have the iPhone box in it. Now, looking at the cameras, we have three different cameras for three different purposes. So the primary camera has optical image stabilization and f1.8 aperture, and then I have the second camera, which is a telephoto, a two times optical zoom camera with f2.0 versus f2.4, uh, an optical image stabilization from last year's 10s model. And then you have the ultra wide f2.4 uh, camera with a 120 degree angle of view. Uh, now, the second camera is mostly for the portrait, uh, so that's why we use the telephoto lens. And the third camera just gives more depth of field and, and more of the subject in the picture. So now we can see uh, that we have uh, the normal one time zoom there, and then we have a 0.5, uh, so you can see how much it zoomed out. Then we can go to one, and then we can go to two. So you can see how good the camera is. It's just very stunning in person. Uh, in video, it's not really showing, but it looks really, really good. You can see you can just tap on the 0.5 button, and when we hold it, we can see that we can just zoom in uh, as far as we need to. And it's a 10x zoom. And then you can also take a look at the other camera. So you can just press it, and then we can keep zooming in, and it'll give you the depth that we need. Then we can go to the third camera. And now you can just keep zooming on in. So you can see how good the iPhone's new camera actually is. Now there also is a dedicated night mode for low light images, which is really good. And then we can actually go into the camera settings here. So if we go into the record video options, we can record in 4K and 60 frames per second. Uh, so that's really good. And we also have the auto low light frames per second as well. So that's also a much needed feature. Now we can do 4K 60 frames per second video with the front facing camera as well, so that's a much needed feature. Now in conclusion, the stereo speakers are now much improved with Dolby Atmos support. There's also 5 hours of extra battery life. The A13 is Apple's most powerful chipset. And we also do get that dark mode. Now, now the one drawback to the iPhone 11 Pro would have to be that it starts at 64 gigabytes and it really should be starting at 128 gigabytes uh, for the base model. Uh, so that's definitely not good on Apple's behalf uh, because uh, at the very least, if you're recording 4K video and enjoying the phone to its fullest, it should 
at the bare minimum start at 128 gigabytes. Uh, so that was my unboxing and first impressions of the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Uh, so thank you for watching this video on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Please be sure to subscribe, like this video, please smash the like button down below so you watch. Also be sure to check out all the other videos on my channel. Be sure to subscribe to my channel because I'm going to have the most iPhone 11 Pro coverage on all of YouTube. And also be sure to follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash AppleCritics and follow me on Instagram at instagram.com slash AppleCritics. And thanks for watching.